<laughs> so, so. Hello, beautiful people, and welcome back to another episode of the Ultimate Decades Challenge. We have to get started today right away with a birthday, Mr. Huxley. It is his birthday today, and we have a couple more things to do before we can proceed to the next year. So we're just going to quickly go through those so that we can proceed to 1322. And we have a lot to, to catch up on. We have... I have to insert a birthday again because when I was playing Quentin, who is now Henry, Thora's first kiddo with Walter aged up and Thora is pregnant again. All right, here we are aging up Henry. He is a sunny baby, so that's nice. You can see them woohooing there in the background. Um, and he rolls a seven, which means he does survive. And he is so stinking cute. Look at this baby. And I'm just noticing watching this back that he did age up with freckles. So I have to remember to give him freckles later. But yeah, look how cute he is. And Sigrid is also pregnant again. And her she has an infant daughter now named Kenna. So eventually we will be meeting them, but for now, oh, for now we have to have a little birthday and make sure that a uh, little man is going to survive. So let's just go ahead and age the sweetheart up. So we had a really good episode last time. Uh, we had very good luck. They're going to fight over the infant once again. Here we freaking go. <laughs> It'll take us an hour and a half to age up this child, if not longer in sim time. Okay, really, seriously, put the kid down right now. Go do something else. Thank you. All right, Huxley. Huh, fussy toddler. That's perfect. Huxley, our little blonde baby. All right, Hux. Oh, we have a smiling one for once. <laughs> Normally, they are making the nastiest faces at us. Faces at us. For our toddlers now, it is 2, 8, or 16 means they pass away. All right, 2, 8, or 16. Thirteen. So Huxley's okay for now. Wow. Okay. That is a relief. I would have been pretty sad because this is Runar and Harmony's second kid. Where are we at with birthdays? Is it the kiddos today? Okay. It's 9 a.m. I think I'm just going to go ahead and do them really quick so that we can move into the next year and then when we come back we're going to have to go take care of Catherine then we might be okay for a minute I have to review it but we might be okay for a minute so let's go ahead and get these guys sorted out first so Elwine was born first for us so we will go ahead and do him first Elwine has aged up. What is with the sunny infants? And we have another black-haired Bubba. Oh, hi, buddy. I don't know if... Is that textured hair? I don't... I'm not sure that that makes sense, but... Okay. <laughs> 4, 12, 16, or 18. 4, 12, 16, or 18. Three! Yay! We have another survivor! Now let's quickly... We're just letting Mr. Runar do all the honors today. And he's enjoying himself immensely. 
<laughs> Runar. Elfrida has aged up. Oh no. She's intense with big emotions. And is going to be more difficult to calm down when she's in a bad mood. All right. Elfrida. Okay. Look over here, cutie. <laughs> okay. And again, it is 4, 12, 16, or 18. Oh my goodness. Okay. We are starting off strong here once again. I am going to go and do makeovers. And when we come back, we will probably be going to visit Catherine and Thora right away. But I'm going to quickly review everything and make sure I have this all correct. I'm going to slowly work on making them over. As they're having children and growing up, I think that it makes sense for their looks to start changing a little bit. And as we know, you know, now that Mare is out on her own, she's probably going to get into some more shenanigans. And I gave her a new style that's more, I think, fitting to the kind of woman that we feel like she is. And I think I have a little plan of something we're going to do with Runar since he is in a midlife crisis. But first, let me get us into the next year. And I'm also going to probably, while I'm off camera, start trying for another baby with Folk and Lassie. Now that the these babies are infants, it's going to be crazy if she gets pregnant right away, but it has been taking several tries. So I'm going to do all of that off of camera and we will catch back up here in a moment. Oh boy, y'all, we are in some dire straits over here. <laughs> this is absolute craziness. I mean, the kids are all trashed back to having way too many sims in one house so we're gonna get out of here for <laughs> a minute it is so bad oh my gosh okay <laughs> i was trying to get some of these kids taken care of before i left but uh yeah it's really not happening so we're going to go age up Catherine, and then we have to age up Thora on Friday. I might just hold off on that for a day because I have a plan of something I want to do with the men of the house. I'm going to see if... Okay, so we are not pregnant. Okay. That's fine. Did we ever get him cleaned up? No. <laughs> okay, we're just going to go age up Catherine because... Oh my goodness. This child is just oh i cannot oh so cute okay catherine my love it is your birthday <laughs> it's your birthday oh my goodness indeed it is your birthday you look very shocked i'm shocked too <laughs> miss catherine is gonna be a cat lover Okay. Catherine! Catherine. So children now is 9 and 19. 9 and 19 are the death rolls for children. Dang it! She had main character energy for me. No, not Catherine. Okay, I got to give her a little makeover so I can get her picture. Are you joking? Catherine, that's very, very rude of you. Honestly. <sighs> oh, so cute. Oh, honey. Why? So, what are we going to say for her cause of death? This is such a bummer. Uh, we are going to say that Catherine passed away of dysentery, which was 
a common thing during these times. There are some diseases that come into play like a little bit later, but I think we're going to say for her that she got dysentery. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> See, I did death by hunger and she just disappeared. Oh well, I guess that's that. Um Bummer. But she is pregnant. She's in her first trimester. Now all she has is little Henry. And he is just so cute. I cannot handle it. I just can't. <laughs> All right, so, wow, what a bummer. I want to take the men of the house on a little hunting excursion, like a legitimate trip. We'll say hunting. They're going to go fish and stuff because Runar is in a midlife crisis right now. Uh, we're just going to say... Well, for one thing, he keeps getting the mood lit about being cooped up because he's an outdoorsy person. So I think we're going to take them out to granite falls now and we'll just say they took a little trip like deeper into the mountains or something runar folk and sawyer we could invite rune as well the problem we're going to run into is supplies like i don't know how to camp in a medieval style actually i no, I don't think I can put that in my inventory. Let's see. Put in inventory. Perfect. I could have looked for CC, but this was kind of something I just decided to do. Wow, we're broke. We're not gonna be able to go on vacation. All right, actually. We won't take Rune, because we're not gonna be able to afford to go. Let's try to make some money on this stuff. That's like worth nothing. Wow, the upgrade parts are. We'll hang on to those for now. Let's see what Folk has. Let's open these up. He has so many toys. Okay, that's a little bit better. Obviously, we can't have these either. Headphones. Alright, that works. Um, each of you come out here and grab one of these. All right, the boys are going off hunting. So what we're going to aim to do is get Runar his aspiration. Should we take Rune? We're not going to have a sleeping bag for him. All right, Rune's just going to have to miss out on this trip. He's off doing his thing. Shivney Gorshu. I can't believe Catherine. Oh my god. <sighs> but my main reason for doing this is that Runar needs to get other fish from a different location. And he also has to max his skill. And it's just not possible for him to do that without traveling. So we're just going to say they're taking a little trek in another direction. So not necessarily like far away. They're just going deeper into the wilderness of where they live let's do two if we do everything we need to do we'll go early but 
can also try to collect some of the herbs and stuff that are available out here. Uh, I just, I haven't done this in so long. I don't remember anything. <laughs> Sawyer, come here. Go to the lodging. Here, right? Why can't I put this out? Well, that's a bust. Can I put the sleeping bag out? Are you joking? What am I doing wrong? Okay. So why don't you join the fishing party? You guys are going to have to probably eat your fish. So Runar has not caught anything he hasn't already gotten. Huh. Let's try fishing with bait. Can we get one? No. Yellow perch. Okay, cool. But he already ran out of stuff to use as bait, so we'll try a minnow. So there's now a teen. Come on, Renar, you got this. Oh my, what's that? A minnow? Oh my. Okay. Don't pee your pants, please. Mmm, flies collecting everywhere. He's not even tired. So I'm gonna have him light this. We should be able to grill some of our fish that we cooked. <laughs> Roast. Roasted fish. The true camping way, Runar. You are a bad you know what. Look how happy he is. We ain't gonna have no moodlets about being cooped up now. That's for sure. Yum yum. Your kiddos are over here sleeping. When you're done, you're gonna come here. Contemplate life. Cool. Okay, go to sleep. We are on an excursion. Whoa, you didn't catch any fish? Hold on. Daddy-o did. Daddy-o did. Where's that fish? Where's that fish? Yummy. Okay, can we find anything oh. here? Or do we have to travel? Okay, dig that up. 
Harvest all. Sweet. Hulky is going to be the one to do it all. Look at the woodpecker. The woodpecker. Whoa. Oh, that'll make you dizzy. Aw. Hulky. Oh, my handsome man. He's just having a good old time. Uh, we're off to the races. We already have these. But we'll take them. Sawyer could have done that one, but didn't know notice a perch. Bro. You have to fish different locations, okay? Like, it's just the way it is. He's hot. He's overheating. I don't know if I have any. Oh yeah, I did get a default replacement, by the way. So, that's cool. Okay, so we did get some different stuff. Those were different. Good job, Volky. We can start messing with herbalism now. Oh, that's going to be different too, huh? Nope. That was elderberry again. He's got mosquitoes. Maybe he can give those to his kiddo. That would be kind of fun. Alright. Uh, let's see how we're doing here. We aren't. We aren't really doing much of anything. Why are you guys not changing your clothes? Oh, <laughs> he's just letting it all hang out. Oh, no. Oh, no, and I haven't saved the game. No, 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 please, please, no, no, no. Come on, game. Come back. We would have lost the whole trip. We're gonna have to replay the whole trip. Y'all, we're back on like our second day of the vacation and we're gonna take Runar to explore the woods and see if there's fishing opportunities. What is your problem? Go here. What's wrong? What? This game. Okay. I don't remember anything about this. This should do the trick. Um, the boys weren't quite ready to come out yet. They were kind of tired still. Alright, Runar, let's do this. Let's see if we can get you at least closer to your aspiration. Look at all those pretty fish. You can see all of them. This could do it. How many more do we need? Oh my gosh. We need nine. We might not get it. There's a skeleton fish in there. Oh. Dang it! Let's try without bait. I know there's like a whole like method to this. 
and what catches what type of fish. <gasps> oh my gosh, still not the right fish. Oh my gosh, we need nine more different types of fish. It's never gonna happen. Oh! Cool. We got one. Alright, let's bring Hulk here and check for more goodies to take home. Very nice. The bear is here. Um, somebody very mad is coming. <laughs> like really mad sim marching through the woods. Very, very angry, like. Go figure, it would be Agnes. Like, there's special fish here. But I don't understand, like, what bait I need to have. His needs are crap. Okay, all I have left is other fish, basil, and mushroom. Oh no. <gasps> we got one! Oh my gosh, he's never going to get this though. Dude is going to pee his pants. If I get one more. Dang it. <gasps> yes! We are so close and he really has to go pee. Alright. We're closer. Are you going to make it? Oh, he's stanky too. <laughs> oh, he's having a bad ladder failure. Oh. Bro, take your shower. Mm. Now he's tired. Oh, Invite Slayer to fish with you. Are there enough fish in this pond, though, to get five more unique fish? Got another rainbow fish. I mean, let's be real. Bro probably has a lot of money here. Wow. I say that trip was worth it. Let's try to... Fish. Angle for big catch. Let's see if this works. No! Just fish. I know you're tired. Come on. Oh, he was just catching something. We're gonna extend for a minute. Oh! Nothing. He is gonna pass out. He passed out. Um, uh, he keeps wanting to go get water. Like, that is not helpful. What does Angle for Big Catch even do? Anything? God, he's so close, too. I feel like that ain't doing squat. Get your kid over here. Get your social up a little bit. Where are you going? <laughs> oh my goodness. This is like torture for him. 
He dislikes fishing. Oh no. He's like, Dad, I don't know what you like about this. Okay. We're stuck at 15. We are going to go home now. All right. Let's see how the women of the house have been holding it down. I'm not convinced they have it all. We're skipping prom. Every time we leave the freaking lot. Oh, everyone's looking pretty dang good, actually. Wow, ladies. I am kind of impressed. So Folk's the only one coming back in a decent mood. <laughs> Runar needs sleep. I already know Folk's going to want to come and see his babies. Look at he already is. He's watching the milestone. Gonna hold his baby girl. His first baby girl. It's his first baby girl. Oh. oh, somebody's ready for some love too. Oh, we gotta get upstairs and get some baby making going. <laughs> Dreamy eyes. He sure loves his wifey. He's like, it's been a long couple of days, babe. I am <laughs> ready for your love. What are you doing, babes? Try to go night night. You're tired. The lies. That's straight up lying. Can you do it here? <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I wonder how Thor is doing. I am so tired, y'all. Like, it's not even a joke. I'm still kind of sick. And I actually feel, like, worse today. I don't know if I have an ear infection. Um, I don't know. This thing's just been kind of hanging around. So I don't know if I had a sinus infection this whole time. Well, I just looked at her... To see if she was pregnant. And she is. And oh my god. <laughs> we are. Oh no. <laughs> oh but he loves her so much. Oh my gosh. Now folks milestones are going to be easy. He actually autonomously read to one of the kids. Um. Remember, he's the only one in the house that really knows how to read. He taught himself for his um, childhood, teenhood job. Um, so he only has to read for one more hour and he will get the first tier of this done. Or is this second? Oh, God, it's the first. <clears throat> we might be surrendering because I'm starting to get like super I don't know it's weird snotty and just generally itchy which is how I normally feel when I get sick and I was just sick so what is even happening right now alright we got almost everybody taking a nap at 1am Come on, don't just stand there. She's hungry. You were too busy woohooing with your husband. Oh my gosh. Seriously. <laughs> She's bottle feeding her. Why are you bottle feeding her? Oh my gosh. We can only feed one baby at a time. Yes, yes. Okay.
Thora had one female baby. I gotta figure out. I don't have these settings quite right. I want to be able to name the babies when they're born. So I have to fiddle with that yet. Um, but this is a start. Let's go see the situation there and roll for the baby. Aw, she's so cute. You're such a beautiful woman. All right, we got a bub. A daughter, Deja. Deja vu. We lost Catherine. Uh, but I don't feel like she would give this little one, like, a similar name. Although, like, you could in tribute. Like, maybe call her Katarina or something like that. But let's see if she lives. All right. I mean, primary objective. Right? All right, 1, 5, 10, 15, or 20 for newborns. Okay, so she's going to survive the newborn stage. A good first step. It's the last day of 1322. I would hate to do this two episodes in a row, but I think I am going to leave this one here. Uh... She doesn't know it yet, but Lassie is indeed pregnant. So when we come back in 1323, we will have babies being born and we will be doing a lot of birthdays and rolls. It's going to be a lot, a lot, a lot. Uh, oh my gosh, Henry has to age up. Hold on. That's kind of odd. I guess we're going to do two birthdays. We are meeting a milestone out here, clearly, or we're aging up. Milestone. Henry is so cute. Oh my God. I cannot, I doubt that this is working, but let's just see. Are you going to age him up? Nope. All right. To cast we go. Oh. Oh my gosh. <laughs> He's so cute. Are you joking? Do you guys know how many times I leave the game and I have to come back and open it up just to take pictures of these sims? Oh, he is. Might be the cutest baby we've had yet. Besides Edgar, I think Edgar was cuter. But he's, 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 yeah. I would have loved to see Edgar age up and see what he would look like. All right, let's put our dice back and go see. We never did go see Mare in this episode. I'm sorry, I just, I'm struggling and I'm feeling so not right. and I'm not feeling well at all. It's been a very long day. I got the keys to my new house today. And I have to clean it tomorrow. And I'm just... I think we're going to have to call it so I can try to get this up some at some point tomorrow. Probably late tomorrow evening after everything else is done. Um, just bear with me while we are going through this weird time. 2, 8, or 6, means he dies oh cutie patootie gets to live thank the powers that be thank the dice gods all right we're thanking the dice gods today okay so this little bean oh my gosh look at thora's face thora are you, like, super pumped about how great your kid is? Girl, oh my goodness. Look at you. Just look at you. She is thriving. Thora is thriving. Me, not so much. So I am going to go try to rest a little bit. I didn't expect... I, I was feeling better, so I did not expect that this would 
hit me again like it has today. Uh, the weather has been crazy. I don't know if I have an ear infection that's hanging around. My ears have never stopped bothering me since I fell sick. So I'm not 100% sure. Uh, but just know I'm sorry for my weird voice today. I'm sorry if I sounded snotty at any points. And I'm going to go rest. And I will see you all in the comments. I thank you for hanging out with me. I appreciate it very much. Have a good one. Bye.